In a few months, texting while driving will be banned all across the Sunshine State, and Governor Rick Scott is poised to sign that controversial bill into law tomorrow right here in South Florida. Team 6 reporter Gilma Avalos is live in North Miami Beach tonight, where the bill signing ceremony will be held tomorrow. Gilma. Yeah, Adam, it's supposed to happen at the Alonzo and Tracy Morning High School here behind me at 1 p.m. tomorrow. An important message for the teens who will be watching tonight. An important message for business owners. We profile a company that gave up not only texting while driving, but distracted driving in general three years ago. They say it's a business model that definitely works. Work days are very rarely strictly 9 to 5 for many South Floridians. I always have my cell phone with me. For Julie Jimenez, who works in public relations, resisting temptation behind the wheel can be tough. Hello? But she won't touch that cup holder. That's because she's taken her company's never ever pledge. Keep both hands on the wheel at all times and never, we mean never text, email, apply makeup while driving. Christine Barney, CEO of RBB Public Relations, drafted that pledge back in 2010. The businesswoman and mother was inspired after witnessing an accident caused by distracted driving. And I could see right through the rearview mirror that they were texting and they just drove right into the car in front of them. Come October 1st, drivers across the Sunshine State will be held to some of those guidelines lines, but it won't just be an honesty policy. It will be the law. It would make manually typing on devices like smartphones while on the move a secondary violation. That means a driver would have to be stopped for another offense such as speeding in order to receive a citation for texting. Critics claim the bill will be too hard to enforce, but Barney says taking strides to curb the behavior is what's important. RBB looks at it as a business issue. We think that will help change behavior faster than if people just think of it as a, a social issue. I mean, my card has nothing to do with my boss. Not true. Over the last three years, the Never Ever Pledge has been successful. All 40 employees have signed it and are provided with hands-free devices to make sure they won't be tempted. Some, like Jimenez, even have Bluetooth-enabled technology in their cars. Their pledge goes further than texting, though. It includes eating and primping. But it has to start somewhere, and I think employers are in the perfect position to start making that change right now. Now, you can actually find that pledge on the RBB Public Relations Facebook page. People who don't even work for the company have taken the pledge, and the company hopes that other businesses will adopt it as well because they say they've had concrete results. It claims no employees have been involved in distracted driving accidents in the last three years. Live in North, Me North Beach, Miami, Gilma Avalos, NBC6, South Florida.